Welcome back to jobskillshare.org. We are going to continue our Active Directory training for our live members. And of course, we're sharing this on YouTube so everybody can take benefit. So basically, in the last video, let's jump into the lab. We talked about this one script that it can do a lot of things for you, like expiration, how many days are remaining in the password. So you can use it on your machine to quickly do things. But today I'm going to show you a little bit more uh, advanced, like, you know, because you need to install this software and to do stuff with it. But what is the scenario? Why would you need this? Sometimes, uh, like we discussed, that Active Directory itself is, n is just not sufficient for our job, you know. So uh, there's a lot of other companies that have built already uh, a good amount of tools to make our job easy, uh, especially sysadmins, IT managers, and stuff like that. So these tools are known in the market, like Spiceworks. Everybody, everybody knows about it, right? So we know about it. And these are the different type of tools that we just need. We know about it because that's how we communicate with each other and say, oh, yeah, that's a pretty good tool. So everybody start using it. And that company is famous for what they do the best, right? So this is where I do not get paid for this kind of stuff again. It's just that this is this is what it is. If you go to Indeed.com and you type these type the names of these tools like PDQ stuff, it'll, it'll show up. So today we're going to talk about what can you do to make it even more proactive Active Directory type of troubleshooting. So what I mean is that let's say if you have 1,000 people in Active Directory and you would like to know whoever gets lockout, I just want to know an email or I want to know some type of alert. So then I already know that this person is locked out. He's going to be calling me or she's going to be calling me. If they're going to be calling me, then I am ready because that's how I set up my, my system. So this is what I'm talking about. You need a tool that can detect domain controller for you when somebody gets locked out. And there you go. You got alert in the email. And then you are so happy because right now you already know what the issue is going on. So before you were more like reactive, right? You got a call, you act on it, you got you got the script open, and then you react to their call. Here you are more proactive. In your future, and you want to learn more, you want to become a better IT professional, you always want to be on the proactive side. Reactive is going to be with you no matter what. But proactive is something you need to make yourself. So we're going to log into one of your server, and this is the live member basically. Uh, we already talked about these labs. Not going to talk about it again. So these are the people who take live trainings. They get these labs, real servers, real virtual servers, and then they do these kind of things, okay? So you see this member is already using some of the the, the tools that we have done on our training, Spikes First, VDQ Inventory, Zoom, all that kind of stuff. We've talked about this stuff. So today what I want to do is I want to basically talk about this tool that can do that, what, what we just discussed. It's called Netrix Lockout Examiner. So you're going to go to Google. Now, by the way, this tool is not that easy to just download and you're going to get th things done. It's called Netrix Lockout Examiner. It's a free tool, but the only problem with this is that you need a business email to get it. Um, but just watch this video. Whenever you have business opportunity, you work in an email and you have that business email, then download it in your lab environment or in our lab environment when you become a live member then you can do these things. So we're going to click on it. And you're going to type your email and then you're going to get an email. You're going to basically open the email and then you will download the, the software. Okay. We have already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you it's in your, basically in your download folder right here. And I'm using a server for this specific tool because it's a little intensive. And I would prefer using server for this type of tool than desktop because then it will require more for you to do on desktop. So let's go ahead and open that. So you're going to get it in zip format. You're going to right click on it and you basically will extract the file. And then this is where you're going to see this setup file. And you're going to double click on it. Now the thing about this tool is that it does require .NET 3.5. So even it tells you right there that, hey, you don't have .NET 3.5. Would you like to install it? So basically, the way you're going to do this, you can install this type of features. Uh, you have to do it from the server. So you're going to click right here. 
you're gonna go to server manager and then you will basically click on manage you will click on add roles and features you have to wait for this to finish you see on the top there's a little bar going we'll wait for that that's still doing it all right I think it's done click next next and next next this is what we were talking about we're going to pick all of this and see it picked up 2.0 2.0 2.5 and we're gonna click next and we're going to click install all right so installation is finished be patient with this so go ahead and close this and then close the application just like that and now run it one more time so now it will install and that's just a basic troubleshooting right there for you if you see something like with net not getting installed and that's one way uh, if that's not happening then you, you need to go online download the net offline version if that's not happening then you need to do some research how other ways you can get the net going so then you're gonna click next next and finish this process and we're just going to uh, so here account name and password uh, this is what the, the the password is basically kind of like the, the 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 domain admin account will be required over here so we're gonna use one help desk and then your password that we created unless you changed it So look at this error right here. You have learned most of the time when you get an error like this, why is this happening? Because we're not putting the domain in front of that username. So your domain is JSS700. And you see when I did that, then we're good. Another, that's a second troubleshooting step for you right there. And now we're going to close this and this software is getting installed. Again, a warning, you want to definitely talk to your IT managers or people who are already in uh, IT. You don't want to do this stuff as soon as you start working in a company and start using your domain rights to uh, you know, talk to the servers because then they're going to see this stuff. Of course, you don't want to be then in a situation where you can't explain certain things because you're so new. So that's why I do this in the lab environment like ours or yourself. Um, and then once you're familiar with this stuff, then go and talk to people. But still, you should spend some time in the company, the, uh, a month or two or three months, get to know them a little bit, the culture of that company, and then try to introduce these type of things. But I'm sure they may already have something like it. So here you go. You just install this. And first thing it's going to tell you that we need to add some uh, a domain controller uh, into this system. So you see, let's open this and it will automatically pick the domain controllers in your, uh, uh, in your uh, network. So primary domain controller is this one right here. And we're going to say OK. Now this is where I say that you can enable notification. But again, you need an email server for that. So you see on the bottom, SMTP server. So this is something that you will talk to your sysadmin and they will provide the name or IP address or the port number and from which email. Usually a lot of people will set up support. So they will have a help desk email and in that email, they're just gonna get this type of information. They're gonna click enable here. There's a remote control stuff over here too. Security roles, you wanna limit this stuff so that you can do this ton of stuff. But we're not interested, we just wanna learn this stuff. So here we're going to say okay so when I do OK then I basically added that domain in here you see it says log on auditing reading log so what will happen now you see on the bottom it says lockout is zero not locked out so it's actively monitoring your uh, your system right now so let's let's do a test how would you test this since you have so many machines over here we can pick any machine Let's see if staff 700 is a good machine. Yeah, we, we have. So we already know there's a there's account in Active Directory Ahmed, right? So we're going to just 
drop something incorrect i know you put if somebody put a, a, a password five times wrong then they should get locked out that's your group policy right there that you created now people if you heard group policy and you're like what is he talking about that's why you you need to take live training with us because then these are these are the things that we just teach talk about these things you know so here we almost locked this account out but there you go look at that what happened here ahmed got locked out now wouldn't this be the best thing for you uh, uh, like you know for a new person to see something like this this is just such a goal trust me if somebody have taught this stuff to me like you know when i was doing in it when i started my it i feel like then i would we won't we won't have a job skill share because that's why that's why i kind of felt the pain as like why can't people just show this stuff you know makes make our life easy so there you go you got you got some good information right here and i'll teach you something here look at one you already know that this account is locked up second you already know that they put a five bad passwords right there okay but yeah that's great that's simple you just got the lockout you work on it and you unlock it great but what if it's keep happening what if it's just keep happening i'll give you a scenario one day a person called me and then the person was sitting in front of the computer and the person was saying that look i'm not doing anything and i'm getting locked out it's just so crazy so i was like okay did you do you have a phone now you see how people have phones on their uh you know outlook stuff everything is connected to active directory so they the person said no i don't even have a phone my email is not on my this phone and i deleted it i don't have anything and i'm like man i'm i'm scratching my head i'm like how can i resolve this now you could do all these things again like when i was new i didn't know how to do any logging from active directory events and stuff like that and that takes so much time and of course you need at that point you you needed that access and i didn't have that so of course then i'm like you know running like a dog that okay how do i fix this issue right this person is going crazy so when i get this software it resolved my issue look at look at where it say it's right here workstation it even tells you exactly where it is getting locked out so you know what happened that person left his he went to a library machine like you know one of the lab machines sorry uh, and somebody else was typing the wrong password so the other person was actually not looking not looking at his username and he was typing the same the, his own password into his username and he was keep locking him out so for a few times that happened and when i saw this i went to lab, i went to the lab machine and i saw the person I'm like oh what are you doing so you see that's one scenario sometimes a uh, person keyboard will be like stuck in some other machine and boom they get lock lock out again but sometimes even some someone will be using second machine and they will forget to update the password they may have some type of monitoring uh, tool or something in there that they have uh, you know installed or like you know saved the password in some t uh, application and that application if it's not updated then it will lock you out it's very common sense but how you find out this is how you find out easy peasy you just go in there you see look at the workstation and you find out the culprit or you find out the source right but of course things are getting a little advanced now i, I don't want to go too deep in there because then of course we're going to go into a sysadmin mode now this is where i want to stop because your job is not going to be more than this if somebody says what if what about the adfs kind of things what about those those are all sysadmin stuff so that's something you learn in a sysadmin type of skills uh and again if you feel like when i say adfs and you didn't get it forget it that's just for people who know about that stuff okay so here you got a lot of information you can right click on it and then you know you can do a little bit more stuff to it so it's just a little hung right now but you can see you can examine on you can examine on the same uh you know the the account so it's going to go out there and it's going to find a little bit more information from that uh, domain controller it's going to pull those logs for you so the more you dig deep in there the more you want to learn you can do that but for a help this person this is enough workstation who's locked out which which domain controller sometimes it could be issues with those type of things and you need to talk, talk to your sysadmin how many times did they try to put the password how many times they got locked out one day as i saw 80 lockouts now why 80 in there that's kind of, that should really tell you that either somebody's doing 
some type of breaking the password they're probably hacking the system or you have some something automated that is locking themselves out locking an account out so many times that you know it's not a human being it got to be some kind of system so that it tells you too many things out there right so how do you fix it? You right click, unlock, or you can even reset the password from there. You can unlock on the bottom, and that person is now unlocked from this system. So all you can do is after that, you see it went away. That person is not locked anymore. If you want to remove this data, you can just remove it and then keep it fresh. But again, if email was set, you also got this in the email. So if you are working with five of the people, everybody know that there's issue coming. There's a call coming. Proactive. The call is already coming. You already know about it. And you can simply unlock the person. If you think that that's just a, uh, you know, a normal lockout, then, of course, just unlock it and the, the ticket is over. But if, if it's more than that, you know what to do now. So thank you for watching this video. It got a little bit longer, but it's pretty cool stuff. Trust me, you're going to come across this stuff. And uh, then you will be uh, kind of like realizing that how important these videos are for your career. Thank you so much. If you have any question, comment. Let us know if you think this video is good. Like it, share it with other people so that they can take benefit.